Boxing King Media in association with Box Row at the Ingle Gym, your original home, Cash Ali. Yeah, definitely. Here we are at the Ingle Gym, uh, supporting the YouTubers. Let's go. Oh, and the and here for Tom, who's not a YouTuber, he's a singer. <laughs> Yeah, Tom's obviously been training with, with your brother and Atif Shafiq over in Rotherham. Um, have you been in, impressed by Tom's boxing skills? Yeah, he's good. He knows, he's a heavy under Tom, and just uh, I've seen him in gym sparring with a few lads, and it looks like he's uh, coming on. Obviously, boxing, you know, he can't do it over a few weeks, but you can see he's making improvements, and he comes from a I think, kickboxing background, so he's, uh, he knows how to fight. Just uh, a few little tweaks, but yeah, looking forward to it. What kind of style can the fans expect? I know you said kickboxing, but what does he fight like? Yeah, Tom's got. The, he's definitely heavy handed. You know, somebody can see if kids are heavy handed or not. But uh, Tom's a heavy handed uh, kid, and um, yeah, I think it should. Uh, it should be a fight. This should be a good fight. Heavy handed. It should be going for it. Good man. Are you going to the fight Saturday night? Uh, yeah, I will be there. Um, I will be there. Yeah, looking forward to it. I just want to ask you about your own career as well. You've been at the Lamlack for a long time. You know, I think a few months ago you was in the top 15 in the IBF. Uh, are you still in the IBF top 15? I'm not too sure. Maybe because I've been out. I've not boxed for a year now, so. Maybe, maybe, I don't think, maybe not, I don't think, but I know I was a few months ago. But you know, that, uh, that'll soon come, soon as I fight again. And uh, I think we'll be making noise again and uh, ready to uh, get, get in our top 10 again. So, so where, where, are you with the, where are you with your career right now? You know, what, what, what's next? You know, you, you, what is next? I don't mean, like I said, I've just come over an injury and, uh, you know, that's, that's took a bit of a time. But it's part of boxing. But now, right now, I'm looking about, you know, I'm a free agent, uh, looking for, I'm speaking to a few people, got some good deals on the table. I'm just uh, going to see what's best for me. Me and my trainer, Richard, we're going to look through it and whatever's best for us, and we'll take it from there. All right, I didn't know that. So you've come out, because you was with Dennis Hobson, so your contract's finished there? Uh, yeah, that's run out, yeah. yeah. So that's interesting. So obviously you're in a position where you could potentially fight anyone really if you're top 15 top 20 in the IBF rankings um, obviously I appreciate you can't tell us who you're speaking to but what kind of fighters you know have you got in mind that you think you're ready for next you know like I said I, as soon as I, you know as soon as I get back out there get on a big platform and I, for me just I've been training I've been in the gym I've been training hard I've been grafting and I think uh, next year will be a time where I put myself I'll put myself in that big mix. Whoever's there from any top 15 guys, I think this time next year you'll see me with some good fights, you know, maybe a Derek Chisora type. This time next year could be a big fight. You know, them if he's still about. There's loads of kids. We'll see who's there at the time and whoever's there, they're going to be in for a fight with me. They know that. Everyone knows that. You mentioned Chisora. I think the last time I spoke to Chisora, he wasn't very happy with you because you, I think you were sparring him, then he ended up sparring Joseph Parker. Is there some bad blood between you guys now? Yeah, maybe he, he put some out or something about sparring, but you know, sparring, sparring, and uh, fighting, fighting. This is a business, and I believe next year I want I want them guys who everybody knows. People do know me. Obviously, I've been on Sky before. I've boxed on a good platforms before. I won with Dennis. I won a good European IBF title. So people know who I am. But I think in boxing, you know, you need a dancing partner in in all the fights. So I think there's plenty of fights out there for me, and uh, I think that's you'll see the best of me next year at some point. Looks like Chisora's going to fight Tyson Fury next. How, how do you see that going? Um, you know what? Tyson Fury might fight me because he said uh, he's looking for the Central Area title. I was the last holder of that. <laughs> so uh, Tyson Fury, if you want that uh, Central, I've got it at home waiting. It's there. So, yeah, yeah, but I think uh, Chisora's fighting him next. So let's see. But I think, you know, Tyson Fury, he said a third fight with him, and I think he is. But obviously, I see one winner on that. I think that's Tyson. I just want to get your opinion on all this Conor Ben situation. Got any opinions on that? To be honest, you know, well, if you've been, I don't know if he's uh, been tested again or whatever. But if you, it's, it's, it's their business. But as a boxing, as a boxer, fighting myself, as the fans, if someone's getting caught on steroids, then you know they, they're gonna they're gonna um, get some time or get a band after. You know, it's not fair. But, you know, we got people. There are probably other people on it, I don't know, there's people being caught on it, but there should be a heavy punishment for it. It's simple as that, you know, I got, I got cuts for buying someone for David Price, and um, it's people, I didn't kill anybody, and you got people who, who are, you know, taking steroids, taking all these anabolic steroids, whatever they're called, and they're, they're getting away with it lightly. I think if they give a severe punishment, then that'll give, that'll give the other fighters not to take it, and whoever, whoever's in the teams giving it them, you know, they, 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 they should be out of it, simple as that, get a ban, simple. And just to wrap up on yourself, I know you said you're speaking to a few promoters. When could we expect to see you back in the ring? Yeah, um, hopefully end of the year. Or if not, I think early next year, like you know, season. I think normally before Christmas or probably February time. So yeah, but within the next uh, three, four months at some point. 
last message for your fans? You know, I just want to say everyone who's been supporting me, keep, you know, I know it's been a bit of a steady year, but it just this is part of the journey, part of life's journey, boxing journey, and uh, I think you just keep doing it, and I'm not stopping until I get what I believe I can win, and inshallah, I will do. Thank you for your time, Cash.